Hi, this is Caroline from So Can She, and I am so excited to share with you today a video tutorial for my darling little cinnamon tree Christmas ornaments. This is a patchwork Christmas tree ornament, and it has a cinnamon stick for the trunk. It smells so good. I love the smell of cinnamon. So let's go ahead and make a darling little cinnamon tree Christmas ornament. To make one little cinnamon tree ornament, you will need to use the template that I provide on my blog, the triangle template, and cut out eight little triangles for each ornament. So now I'm just gonna show you how to sew these four triangles together to make one side of your ornament. Place the one that you want to be the center of your ornament like this, pointing down here, and then arrange the other triangles on either side and one on top. So what I'm going to do is I will start by sewing this seam right here, and then I'll press the seam open. Then I'll sew this seam and press the seam open. And then I will go ahead and sew this last seam and press the seam open, and it will look a lot like this. The other side of my little cinnamon tree ornament is done. You see that I have all my seams pressed open on the back and what I'm going to do is place it right sides together with the other side of the tree. I'm just going to place three pins. The first one is to hold the top together and then the other one is going to help me remember where to leave an opening at the bottom, which is for turning the tree right side out. And it is for stuffing it and putting your little cinnamon stick in. So I've left about two inches here. If you like, you can do it a little bit less, like about an inch and a half or an inch and three quarters. Just keep in mind that the smaller this opening is, the more difficult it will be to turn the tree right side out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to sew this on my sewing machine. I'll start right here and backstitch and I'll just sew all the way around the tree. I'll end when I come to this pin and backstitch again. And now all the sewing is done. Now my corners are already trimmed a little bit, but I'm just going to trim them a little bit more just to, so that when I turn the ornament right side out, I can have nice sharp corners. I don't wanna cut the stitching here, but I'm just cutting away the extra fabric at each corner. Now one last thing before I turn the ornament right side out. You see here at the opening, I want to press back the seam allowance by about a quarter inch on both sides. Okay, so with my edges pressed back at the opening, I will go ahead and turn my little tree right side out. But there we go. And it's nice here that our edges fold in. That will make it very easy to hot glue these edges closed with your cinnamon stick inside. But first, we need to stuff it. And now when I feel like it's adequately stuffed, I'm just going to take a six inch cinnamon stick and put it right inside. I think I want a little more stuffing to go next to that cinnamon stick. And now I'm so glad that these little edges here are turned in. That makes it so easy for me. I will pick a side where I can see the seam allowance best. And I think I'm gonna pick this side right here and put the glue on my green seam allowance. And I'm just going to place a little bit of hot glue on this side of the cinnamon stick move it over and then I'll put a little bit of hot glue on this side. I'm just putting it on the seam allowance and then I'll put a little bit of hot glue right on top of the cinnamon stick. Then I'm just going to pull my fabric and press the seam allowances together. I can push the stick in just a little bit to help push that glue in. 
and I'm not touching the glue, but I'm just touching the fabric. And there we go. It's all closed shut, no hand sewing required. And now the last thing I need to do is just sew a little loop on top. So I have a needle here. It's a sharp needle. It's a Chanel needle. It has a nice big eye and it is threaded with some pearl cotton. You can also use embroidery thread and I'm just going to take one little tiny stitch through the top of the tree and I'll pull this out. I want to have about 10 inches here to make my little loop. So 10 inches total, five inches on either side. And I'll just make a little knot here. and my adorable little cinnamon tree is done. I hope you use this tutorial to make a whole forest of little cinnamon trees for your holiday giving this year, or just keep them around your own house for decorating. Make sure you visit my blog to download the free triangle template for making the patchwork on these little trees. If you don't have time to do the patchwork, I'm also providing a triangle template that's big enough for the whole tree, you'll just need to cut two pieces of fabric to make this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my sewing tutorials and ideas. Happy holidays!